Hi, I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to be talking about infant bowel disease. Now, this is a really big topic. There's a lot of different kinds of bowel disease that affect infants. So we're going to try and break it down a little bit in terms of signs and symptoms and just give you some red flags you want to be on the lookout for and thinking about. We cannot obviously go through every infant bowel disease that there is in a short period of time. But let's start with the most obvious, which is constipation. A lot of parents come to us concerned. They want to know, is my child constipated? Well, a newborn infant, especially one who's nursing, may poop every single time they nurse. They may be pooping 12 times a day, if that's how often they nurse. If they're having sort of watery, runny, seedy stools, yellow or green or brown, that's all normal, that's great, doesn't bother us. They may stool almost never, especially a breastfed infant may use every drop of breast milk to make more infant and no stool. I've had babies who went two weeks without stooling. We did an x-ray, we checked their bottoms, they weren't constipated at all, they were totally fine. So talk to your doctor if you're worried. But generally signs of constipation in infants are small or large hard balls of stool. I care when something does come out. Is it coming out hard? Is it causing bleeding? Those are the signs of constipation that I worry about. Now, in infants who get older, it becomes less common to go so long between stools. And by the time a child is getting some solids, maybe they're six months old or so, and they're starting to get some fruits and vegetables in their diet, I do expect them to stool every day or two at the very least, and I am looking for relatively soft stools. Now, other signs of infant bowel disease that are certainly distressing. Uh, if you see blood in the stool, the most common thing that we see is an infection, but that could also be a protein allergy, most commonly a milk protein allergy, but there are others. At any rate, blood in the stool is never normal. You always want to have that checked out. That can also be a sign of inflammatory bowel disease, such as Crohn's disease, uh, enterocolitis, um, ulcerative colitis. So those are all things that you want your doctor to check out. Likely, likewise, if your infant stops feeding for some reason, if there's chronic vomiting, uh, if your infant's not gaining weight very well, if he or she has an unexplained fever, certainly there may be answers in the intestines that we want to go looking for. So those are all red flags that you want to bring to your doctor's attention. Talking about bowel disease in your infant, I am Dr. David Hill.